Hi guys, this is Simone. And this is Isaac from Epica. And we want you to put your horns up. Healthy, happy, cute, blue-eyed baby boy. Awesome, awesome. And how did I change everything with the band? Obviously, you said you had to kind of take a break to go into the studio, you know, be able to rehearse because you had to take your time to do your because mo motherhood comes oh, first. Oh yeah, I was brooding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it was uh, actually refreshing to not tour for a while. I uh, we still played until I was seven months pregnant. I had a huge belly, and it became even bigger after that. And it was like just belly and a little girl attached. And uh, it was physically becoming a little bit uncomfortable to, to be on stage. I couldn't even, my manager, he had to help me get into my stage shoes because I was like, I can't do it. And uh, yeah, the singing worked, worked okay until uh, much later. And the baby is so high, your lungs get squished up. You don't have the, the support of your muscles because they move to the side when you're pregnant. So that was kind of <clears throat> funny and when we did the demo. Uh, recordings at my house together with Sasha, Yus and Mark. I was sitting there like a like a craftsman, like a huge beer belly, and my legs up because it was high summer and I had feet like the size of an elephant. So that was all not very sexy and not very metal, uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, it, it was nice to kind of work on a new project and to have the baby in mind as well, and hope two great new things coming. A CD, a CD is also a bit, I started talking Dutch, a CD is also a little bit like, like a baby. But of course you don't have to change its diapers, <laughs> nor breastfeed the CD, but um, definitely two great new, new things uh, in my life. And the baby being, of course, the, uh, the, the real life changer, but I think that the quantum enigma is going to be uh, also a good change for Africa. So the plan, the, your plan is to bring the baby with you wherever you go? No, 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 no. He's, he's not here with me now. I want, I want to uh, keep him away from the traveling and the stress. And, uh, maybe when he's a little bit older, he can come and visit. Single shows, but tours, I don't think. No, we got family and friends at home. Yeah, they jump in. So. Would you like him to follow your footsteps one day? If that's what makes him happy, sure. I don't, I don't want to force him uh, to anything, but. Uh, I hope he's got a little bit of the musical talent because Danny's also a musician. He might grow up uh, thinking we're not cool. That this <laughs> is like uh, classical music, you know, little kids play classical music. So we'll see. Maybe you... he'll go into hip hop. <laughs> he has my permission, although uh, I, I don't know. It's not my, my cup of tea, but like my dad also doesn't like metal, so but that's fine. You know, I'm free to do what I want. So a little bit. <laughs> With that said, what do you guys listen to aside from the metal? Because I know usually musicians try to listen to everything but while they're playing, so that way they're mm. not always like yeah. in that. That's right. Mode. <laughs> so what, what do you guys li like, like listening to going to concerts when you have some free time? Like that? Uh, I don't go too often to concerts, but uh, uh, because you know if you tour a lot, then I just prefer listening to the album at home mostly. Last show I did was, uh, or I went to, was Dream Theater, uh, all-time favorite of mine. Uh, though I like the early stuff more than the new stuff, um, and that was cool. Other, other than that, I would listen to. Uh, can be anything. Can go from James Blunt to Nickelback to Soil, Soil Work, uh, Demo Borgir, whatever. You know, there's a lot of stuff that I really like. So acoustic stuff or fusion. Um, in my bathroom, I have my iPod on shuffle, and I just it can be Dido, <laughs> followed by uh, like Immortal or something. So whatever I I like good production. So whenever it's a good production, then probably it's gonna end up in my CD player or my iPod. How about you? What inspires you? You know, especially I say when you are gonna get into the mode of writing some, you know, lyrics, maybe some harmonies. What it gets you in, like in the mood? Any any particular artists out there? Actually, it's it's epic. I you know I get inspired when I hear the music. And, um, 
me and Mark both write the lyrics and uh, <clears throat> when there were like still demo songs, he asked me which songs would you like to write the lyrics for and then I chose the songs that appeal to me the most because it's easier to write uh, a lyric for and uh, then the music inspires me uh, along with the vocal lines and maybe a, a fun, funny behind the scenes story is that when we are writing the, the lyrics, the demo lyrics, uh, no, uh, when we're writing the vocal lines together with Sasha, we write demo lyrics, which are basically bullshit lyrics. <laughs> and they can just... Uh, Sasha, he loves cheesy stuff, so we try to exaggerate as much as possible just to have <coughs> to have um, the melody carried by words. If you just sing... Da -da -da -da, it's different than if you would... Uh, Come home with me! You know, it has a total different... Um, uh, feel so we had like extremely cheesy romantic, uh, yeah, vampire or whatever. And then when uh, when everything is set, the melody, then me and Mark have to rewrite those lyrics. And it's sometimes impossible to get those lyrics out of your head. And even now, when the CD is finished, I sometimes still hear the bullshit lyrics. <laughs> so it's um, yeah, it's fun. And the same with the songs having working titles. And it's like, oh, what is that? What is the new title now? It's so, it's so bad. It takes a while. You know, that's so deep in your system. And uh, it's a little bit like inside band jokes, things that, that go around. But slowly, I have to say, now I know which song is like has the new title. Every time we try to carry on.